hello and welcome to my latest video. I'm in Flanders. Yes, Flanders on a cycling trip with my favourite daughter who doesn't want to appear in the video and so won't. But we're going out now and we're going to cycle some of the famous fat bergs of Flanders. So come with me and let's enjoy the ride. Now it has been suggested by none other than my favourite daughter Rachel that that easy climb up here is not the real camel bird. Now I think she's wrong. I think there is more than one way to skin a rat. And I think we went up the camel bird one way. We've come down it and now we're going to go up this way. And we will see which is the hardest. This seems to have a longer lead in and probably a steeper final section. But whether that means it's overall steeper and harder, I suppose we're going to find out. So come with me for Kemmelberg number two. So here we go, the Kemmelberg from the other side. Uh, I think the way we went first up was the way that I went when I did Ghent Vevelgen and didn't get up. Uh, Rachel thinks that this was the way that she went when she did Ghent Vevelgen and didn't get up. So as we have both got up uh, side one of the difficult second album, we're now going to make our way up side two, that being this side. Now, obviously having descended it, I have an idea of what it's like. And there is this fairly long uh, tarmac section which is going to take us up to get that an old MG oh, now an old MG they bring up the Kemmelberg I'm surprised you got up halfway without breaking down mate and here comes somebody else for oh, the, the effort the strength the power in the legs the very Wout Van Artness of somebody on a quad bike wrestling their way up 23% or whatever it is they'll be high-fiving and celebrating with champagne and Fanta and decaffeinated Coca-Cola whatever it is whereas I, of course, well, it's a bit too soon, Julian, because you haven't actually got up it yet. And if you were to disappoint all your viewers by crowing almost, and let us not forget that great saying, pride before a fall, that yes, Julian, you veritably crowed about how you got up the other side of the Camelberg with four or was it five gears in reserve and now your chickens might come home to roost. Have you ever wondered as I do. The chickens that come home to roost. I mean, where had they been? I mean, chickens don't go on holiday, do they? So, where have they been? Have they been to the supermarket to see some of their late lamented friends perhaps they go to the abattoir and kind of day out and they say look the old cock this is what will happen to you if you don't behave yourself and imagine if they're kind of standing there at the window looking in at their 
friends having their beaks lopped off and somebody comes along and grabs them by the scorning neck and then says you're next and then you go no we never should have spent our time laughing at the other chickens we've been caught no more going home to roost for us anyway I think I'm at the top was it harder? well yes but was it harder? because there was too much talk about cock and having it's always always been my downfall that anyway so there we are the other side of the Kangelberg Congress and some some bright spark wants to pop up and say well it's hang on a minute wants to say well it's like a pyramid Julian there are four sides so then you've got two more to go I shall say fuck off because Julian is tired after his antics and his performances today so I'd like to thank you for watching all these videos I assume you've made it through this series on the great climbs well some at least of the great climbs of Flanders so please like please subscribe please follow my further adventures and whew, see you next time